All right, so it took me a while, but I finally managed to max out the links for my uh, STR LR full power Frieza. So today we are going to be doing a Easy 8 max link showcase for the Frieza, but also compare him to the AGL LR full power Frieza to determine once and for all who is the best full power Frieza in the game. Now, this is basically as close to a perfect comparison as we're gonna get because both of the Frieza's are maxed out link-wise and also are both at 79% in the hidden potential system. So uh, yeah, that is the plan. I'm excited for this and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting here with the AGL full power Frieza on the legendary Vegeta event. So we have him linked up with the new LR cooler starting with 247,000 defense and let's give this guy uh let's see wow okay so i thought we could give him an 18 key super but i guess not so there we go a 17 key super for the agl full power frieza he should still do some really good damage and uh, the reason i went with the uh vegeta event as opposed to the goku event is because on the Vegeta event, or rather the Goku event, this guy gets guaranteed crits, which I feel like is just a little bit unfair. So for the Vegeta event, you know, it's a little bit more of a even comparison since neither of them will get any special bonus against uh, Vegeta enemies, right? So first couple of supers looking really, really good. And now we're on the newly Extreme Z Awakened STR. Full power Frieza once again linked up with the final form cooler starting with 215,000 defense now keep in mind that we are getting the additional support from uh, Garlic Jr. so uh, in reality without any support he's probably closer to like 150 160k something like that so yeah defense literally not as good we are able to give him a full 24 key super though so let's see how much damage we can get from the first super for the full power frieza okay so Tekken good just over seven mil attack okay and this should be if not a crit then at least effective there we go 5.6 mil and additional normal as well so we almost killed the, the vegeta but not quite and uh, 7 mil attack is higher than either of the, you know, 12 key supers from the full power Frieza. But the full power Frieza, or I mean, the other full power Frieza, did get a guaranteed additional super. So that's definitely, I would say, advantage to the uh, AGL full power Frieza damage-wise. Defensively, I mean, kind of the same thing more defense as well right 280k and he also stacks defense on his 18 key super which is something to keep in mind so right now with the 40 percent support we're getting 280,000 defense from the agl full power frieza now the str full power frieza will be getting more attack as we lose hp so once we fall below 80 percent hp we get the additional 40 percent attack and then once we fall below 60% HP, we get 40% more attack. So I'm actually going to try my best to take some damage here. Um, ideally, we'll fall below 60% before we move on. Okay, this should hurt. This should definitely do some damage. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, and also a lot of attack for the AGL full power Frieza. Close to 10 mil, I think it was. 9.5 and then there's the additional 7.7 .7. this is this is crazy guys <laughs> this is absolutely insane okay well there we go that is Vegeta he's dead and are we below 50% or rather 60 60% um not quite we healed a bit we healed a bit okay so we're still below 80% HP yeah, we are below 80%, which means that we are getting the at least first 40% boost. And our defense is down to 182k because we did lose um, the support from Garlic Jr. And let me see here, can we get an 18 key? We can still get the 18 key super, there we go. And 
Yeah, let's see what happens here with the additional 40% boost, but we did lose 40%, so it's kind of like balanced out, I guess. Um, we took 284k there. And we're looking at 6.1 mil attack, which is less than the first turn, but, but, once again, we lost the support, and we also didn't get as much key. We got a full 24 key super versus, was only, uh, 18 key here, right? So that pretty much accounts for the difference. Uh, Frieza though, he's doing okay. He's doing okay. He's not doing as well as the AGL full power Frieza. I think that's pretty much to be expected. Um, as you can see, 252k defense here, but we did get debuffed, I believe, on the super a few turns ago, so that's probably why we lost some defense. And I think to be safe, I'm gonna pop the Whis. I don't wanna heal up just because I still wanna stay at low HP, right, for the other full power Frieza. So yeah, we're gonna pop the Whis. That should keep us safe um, for this turn. And I actually don't wanna give an 18 key super. Here we go. Let's give a 12k super to the cooler, and we'll give a super to the uh, Garlic Jr. as well. Okay, so here is a super attack from the Super Saiyan God Vegeta. This might hurt a bit, actually. Never mind, 12 damage. <laughs> Never mind. And AGL Full Power Frieza still putting up some massive numbers. Absolutely insane numbers. 9.2 mil here. There's the additional guaranteed 8 mil. So even though he's not getting guaranteed crits against Vegeta, he's still hitting stupidly, stupidly hard, and still getting crits, you know, here and there. So yeah, um, I mean, even though it's not the end of the showcase, we still got a couple of forms of Vegeta to go, I think, <laughs> I think it's pretty clear who the better, um, full power Frieza is, and, and it was actually kind of obvious, like, before we even started the video. Yo, what is happening to my game? Hold on, give me one sec. Give me one sec, guys. Let me disconnect this and then reconnect it. Maybe that'll fix it because it was like glitching out a little bit. Um, are we back? No, we're not. Okay, one sec. I got this. Let's go into the device settings and deactivate it and then reactivate it. There we go. We're back. Okay, okay. Minor technical difficulties. But we're good to go. And now we can give a full 24 key super to the STR full power Frieza. I'm gonna just give one orb to Cooler. He's still gonna go off though, but it's not much we can do about that. And then we'll give a super to uh, Turles as well. Uh, taking double digits. That's good to see. And 9.1 mil. 9.1 mil. So close to the highest attacks that we've seen from the other full power Frieza but it was only one super because he doesn't get the guaranteed additional super right so yeah um as I said I think it was pretty obvious who was better <laughs> before we started the showcase but I just wanted to you know uh do a comparison anyways just for fun and in case people weren't sure who was better you know weren't sure which one they should work on more in terms of like uh, link leveling or putting resources into. I mean, it's still the AGL full power Frieza, guys. It's still the AGL full power Frieza. Now, SDR full power Frieza, don't get me wrong, got much better, got a lot better. But is he good enough to justify using over the other Frieza? Not even close, guys. It's, uh, it's not even close. Now I'm gonna pop the Aider, just in case, and yeah, defense looking good. Let's give an 18 key super to the full power Frieza. And this might do it. I mean, we might get one more rotation here, which would be awesome. So we can use the other full power Frieza. But even then, uh, he's going to have type disadvantage. So we're going to have to worry about him defensively. But the good thing about that guy is that he does get... Oh my god! The good thing about that guy, the other, you know, EZA Frieza, is that he does... Uh, get attacks effective um, with the 18 key super so he's still gonna be able to do some damage it's just defensively against this SSB Vegeta um, you know he, he's definitely not gonna hold up 
too well. We're getting triple supers from this Frieza. He's just trying to, um, I think, put the nail in the coffin of this debate between him and the STR Frieza. I mean, yeah, it's not even close, guys. It's not even close. Uh, STR Full Power Frieza actually outperformed what I was expecting from him. I didn't really think he was going to be even as good as what we see here, right? Like, he does good damage, very good damage at defense. It's not bad. He gets over 200k, right, with the super, even more, right? But um, it's not going to be anything crazy. It's not going to be, like, super impressive defense by any means. Um, he doesn't stack either. If he stacked, it would have been a bit of a closer comparison. But he doesn't stack, which is very unfortunate. And, uh, yeah, there's really no area where <laughs> the STR full power Frieza outperforms the... Uh, AGL full power Frieza, but once again, much much better. If you don't have the AGL full power Frieza, the STR full power Frieza is definitely a great, um, you know, unit to include on your Wicked Bloodline team, Terrifying Conquerors team, and stuff like that. But you definitely, you definitely want to use the other one <laughs> if you have the option. So. This will do it for the showcase, guys. I have no doubt we will kill the Vegeta here. Um, let's see how much damage we get. 8.9. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, he didn't kill him. I thought he was going to kill him. And here's a super. This might kill us, actually. <laughs> now that I think about it, we might actually die here. Ooh, okay, well, we survived. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. And we got 14.4 from STR Cooler. Well, that's that's just cooler for you, man. That's just cooler for you. And we end off with a 2.4 mil crit on a normal attack. So, anyways, guys, that is the showcase for the STR LR Full Power Frieza with his Extreme Z Awakening at max links compared to a 79% they're both 79%, right? So 79% STR Full Power Frieza versus 79% uh, AGL Full Power Frieza. And uh, yeah, AGL Full Power Frieza definitely wins. What is happening? Oh, never mind. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> For a second, I thought my game froze again because it wasn't like doing anything. But I just realized that's just the effect taking a second to activate. So yeah, that is the Full Power Frieza Showcase. Definitely... You know, AGL Full Power Frieza is better, but STR Full Power Frieza can hold his own. Um, you know, pretty solid defense. Nothing to write home about, but pretty solid defense. Damage-wise, good damage. Just not really close to the AGL Full Power Frieza, unfortunately. So, um, I like the EZA. I think he's pretty decent. I don't think he's amazing. I don't think he's, you know, anything to uh, get excited about. But it's nice to be... Uh, able to use him again on some of the harder events of the game like the legendary goku event infinite dragon ball history uh legendary goku event extreme super battle road i'd feel good about bringing him too so um yeah that's all i gotta say guys let me know in the comments down below what you think how you feel about str full power frieza's extreme z awakening and uh as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out